Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Lattes on Lunch Break and I'm Velma. Thank you so much for joining me today. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you finding my little channel and watching this channel grow with me. I cover fragrances, lifestyle, anti-aging, and beauty. So if this is something that you think that you would be interested in, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my most romantic fragrances. Being that we are now approaching February and I think the whole entire month should be celebrated with love, um, hugs, compassion, and kindness, this month carries certain themes for me, right? When I think of my fragrances, I want to approach my fragrance collection with that in mind. I'm thinking of snuggling, I'm thinking of cuddling, I'm thinking of hugging and getting close. So in this video series that I'm going to create for you, I'm going to be sharing different types of fragrances for different types of occasions, right? So this one is going to be the most romantic, the most romantic fragrances that I have. So let's go ahead and get started. So on my first fragrance selection, when I was going through uh, my collection, I immediately thought of this one here. Okay, so this one here is by Ellie Saab. Ellie Saab, you know, her fragrances are absolutely beautiful, high quality. You will have longevity with this one. You will have uh, some sillage with this one. And it all depends on how you spray it, right? Well, this particular one is Ellie Saab Le Parfume Rose Couture. This is an Eau de Parfum Rose Couture. Now with this particular fragrance, it speaks romance to me. It speaks that softness, that subtleness, that sweet and sensitive type of fragrance. And I know you're thinking, how could fragrances be sensitive, right? Well, it's that approach, right? It's that approach when you are wearing it, right? It's not one that you are gonna be bold and assertive and aggressive in your approach to your date or your night or your evening. This one here is delicate, but still has a moderate to strong long longevity, right? This one is gonna carry on with you. So don't think that if I, you know, th think of delicate, if I say delicate to you, I don't want you to think that it's not going to be something that shows up, right? You're still gonna be able to smell this. This is a beautiful rose fragrance. And let me go ahead and review with you the notes, okay? So we can talk about it. So in this particular fragrance, you're going to have a rose. It's a floral, fresh. It's gonna have caramel. It has sweet, fruity, white floral, woody, patchouli, and vanilla. Vanilla. Now, in here, you smell that creaminess of the vanilla. You smell the creaminess of that caramel, but then there's that bright and freshness that you experience when you are smelling the beautiful fresh floral that it is. Ellie Saab speaks romance to me. Ellie Saab Rose Couture speaks romance to me. Now, this is one I would carry either in the daytime, but I often like using this as I'm going to bed. I come out fresh from the shower, give myself a couple of spritzes, get into bed, and I just feel that calm, beautiful, clean elegance that um, Ellie Saab Rose Couture it just exhibits. This one here is by Francis Kirk Dijon. Now we love his fragrances, right? In the top notes, you have rose and peony, orange blossom and bergamot. You have rose and lychee, vanilla, jasmine, and peach. I really love the peach. I can smell the peach in here. And then in the base notes, you have caramel, patchouli, and sandalwood. So this is one that is just creamy, smooth, romantic, floral, has that rose component, but it's rose done in a just a right kind of way. I don't want you to think that this is a rose of old, right? The classic, original, old type rose fragrance. This is more of a modern, fresh rose. And the longevity is absolutely amazing on this. Now, 
for the perfumer who created this, most of you know him from Baccarat Rouge, right? So this is Francis Kirkenand. And I want you to understand that he, it's just quality. It's just quality. This fragrance here has a quality and a sense of beauty to it like no other. You've got to wait for the dry down and see how it, you know, works with your skin. But for mine, it is soft. It is subtle. It is smooth. It is romantic. And it speaks Valentine's to me. This one here is Ellie Saab Rose Couture Le Parfum. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next selection. Now, I bring to you Olympia because it is absolutely beautiful. I've talked about it before in my other videos. This is one that is popular with other YouTubers and fragrance lovers on Instagram. Olympia is a beautiful vanilla. It's salty. It's white floral, it's woody, warm and spicy. It does have an amber and citrus note to it. It's powdery, but it has a marine and balsamic effect to it. So it is still that beautiful, romantic scent to it. And I, I can't tell you how many times I reached for this also as I'm getting cozy and ready for the night. I spray this on my PJs. I spray this on my pillow. Like it's just absolutely beautiful. And it just allows me to sleep with that, just a calmness to it. It brings joy. It brings romance. It brings that subtle yet seductive and sexiness in the background. And it is just absolutely beautiful. It is just beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the middle notes and the top notes here. Now, let's go to the middle notes. The salt and vanilla is what I wanted to talk about first. Okay, so the again, I'm gonna talk about creaminess when I talk about romantic fragrances, right? The creaminess and the floral to this actually bring this such a gentle, smooth, seductive scent. It is absolutely beautiful. So the salt cuts a little bit in the sweetness, right, of the uh, water jasmine. Now this, what brightens it, and this is what I love here in the top notes, you have ginger and green mandarin. In the base notes, you have ambergris, you have cashmere wood, and you have sandalwood. This is another, just an absolute most romantic fragrance that you can have for Valentine's Day. I absolutely love it. And that is Olympia by Pac Roban. Okay, very good. Let's go ahead and move on to our next fragrance. Now, the next fragrance I wanted to share with you is absolutely one of my favorites, and it is by Valentino. I know you are probably already thinking, oh my goodness, she's going to talk about Born in Roma. No, nope, not this time. Not this time. That'll be in one of my other videos. But for most romantic, I have here Valentina. Valentina by Valentino. Now, look at this bottle. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can see how much of a dent I have put in this. And this is one of my go-tos also. It's romantic, it's seductive, it is smooth, it is sexy. You're gonna hear me repeat those notes to you. You're gonna hear me repeat those descriptions to you because it is the romantic side of fragrances that I believe these bring. This is a white floral that is done so beautifully. I cannot tell you how much I absolutely love this one. And I won't be without. This is backup bottle worthy. It really is. Like, I don't want to be without it. I want one in my bedroom. I want one at the office. I know, silly, right? I want one in my car as a purse spray or something small. I will not be without this one. This is one of my absolute favorites. Okay, let's talk about the main accords. This one is white floral, fruity, Sweet, earthy, vanilla, animalic, tuberose, citrus, powdery, and amber. 
I absolutely love the combination of main accords on this one. It is so gorgeous, so romantic, so beautifully done. And if you don't know Mr. Morales, he does amazing fragrances and I talk about him all the time. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, go ahead and check me out on Lattes on Lunch Break. And I actually just posted about him today. This one here, top notes are truffle, bergamot, middle notes are strawberry, jasmine, tuberose, and African orange flower. And the base notes are vanilla, amber, and Virginia cedar. I can't get enough of smelling this. This is just elegance, pure and through. And this is my top five, one of my top fives and my most romantic fragrances for this time of year and for Valentine's Day. You can't go wrong with this one. It's absolutely beautiful, beautiful. All right, very good. So we're gonna move on from those three that I've just introduced you and we're gonna talk about my next selection. This one just speaks romance to me. This speaks elegance to me. This speaks like the woman who is just so put together, so elegant, so romantic, so beautiful. What's different about this one where the other ones had more of a creamy, um, a creamy, element to it, a creamier type of subtlety to it. This one is still subtle, but I get that sparkling, I get that sparkling bubbly type of fragrance from this. Like I get that, that sense of bubbliness and like sparkly. There's just something about it that brings just that effervescence to it. It just has that that appearance, it just has that approach when you spray it onto your skin. Okay, so let's talk about the main accords. This is Mon Guerlain by Guerlain. Absolutely beautiful fragrance. It's romantic, it's sweet, she's subtle. She is still so put together in so many different ways. What I love in here is the lavender and the aromatic component. And then the dry down has that subtle powdery scent that makes it that romantic, that perfect romantic fragrance for Valentine's Day. This one has in its main accords, vanilla, woody, lavender, aromatic, powdery, balsamic, sweet, warm and spicy, fresh and spicy, and it has iris. It is such a beautiful blend of elegance right here. For this particular fragrance in the top notes, you're gonna feel and smell and sense that lavender and that bergamot that keeps it earthy and it light and fresh. In the middle notes, it's got iris, jasmine, sandback, and rose. And in the base note, which is one of my absolutely favorite notes ever, is Tahitian vanilla. You've got kermarin, you've got Australian sandalwood, you've got licorice, benzoin, and patchouli. Very light and done so beautifully well. This is a classic, this is a staple. This is one that you will never be without. Yes, I would consider it backup worthy for sure. And it is gorgeous. Mm, my goodness, okay. Mon Guerlain by Guerlain. All right, all right, and my last choice, as I was going through my collection, I wanted to share this one with you because I know most of you already have this in your collection, and this one is new to my collection. As you know, you've heard me along, uh, you know, talk along in my Instagram, and you've heard me through this process, and maybe in my description you've seen that collection to fragrances is new to me. This all happened when we were, you know, in our pandemic. And this happened as just me going back to my youth back when I used to work at the fragrance counter. And so I decided to start collecting these fragrances. So I'm thinking of all of them, right, that build that romance and that sensual aspect to them. And I can't go without saying that this one has to be noted. This one has to be the one I talk about. 
This one here is Parfums de Marly, La Rose, Delina La Rose. All right, so for this one, you know. Now, for me, I went light. May, most of you would go Delina exclusive or Delina itself. For me, I actually prefer this lighter version. To me, it's fresher, it's cleaner. Um, the rose isn't so like, punchy, if I could say that. Here, the floral, fresh, rose, aquatic, main accords are just very light and airy, right? It's romantic, it's light, it's not heavy. It's going to give that beautiful subtlety of elegance, right? So, and the other notes that I'm going to talk to you about, we have fruity, we have musky, we have tropical citrus, and we have sweet. This one is so pretty, so, so pretty. It is elegant, it is beautifully done and the quality of course it's going to stay with you it has such a beautiful longevity and if you want to what i do is i layer mine okay so i have delina's hair um fragrance spray right this one here has more of that stronger delina note to it right stronger rose stronger lychee um, and so what I do, if I want to have, oh God, it's beautiful. If I want to have more of that side of it, that side of Delina exclusive or Delina itself, I go ahead and spray this one on first, right? I spray it on my hair, get a little bit on my clothes, and then I will go into this with La Rose. Now I layer those if I want it to be more rose forward, if I want it to be more lychee forward, okay? But if I want something more light and subtle and creamier and soft, I'm going to go in with La Rose just by itself. This is absolutely gorgeous. And if you don't have it, it is worth the splurge. It is worth every bit of that. I really do believe so. It is absolutely gorgeous. I can't say anything wrong about this. And look how gorgeous that bottle is. It's one of my favorite bottles by Parfums de Marly. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, everyone. So hopefully this has brought you a little bit more insight as to where you can pick and choose in your collection what to wear for valentine's day on those most romantic evenings thank you so much everyone for being with me and until next time on my part two series of my valentine's day selections i will see you back in my break room thank you so much it looks like our time is over and i will see you back later all right Bye, everyone.